Chris, thanks so much for joining us. Um, first things first, welcome to Watford. Thank you. What was it about Watford that made you want to take up this opportunity? Um, I love working. I love working in football. I've worked all my life in football since 16 at Southampton. Um, it's been a couple of uh, little periods we've been out of the game, which I've missed incredibly. And um, I'm delighted to get back in. Delighted to be working at an historical football club because that's what it is. And uh, a, a one, a football club that means an, an awful lot to a lot of people. Most importantly, the supporters, um, the group, uh, the club. Uh, but most importantly, the group of players, because this is a talented group of players. I think, you know, um, even those players will have to accept the responsibility as well. But it's it's in a position that it really shouldn't be. I don't really want to go too much into that. Um, why uh, the, the club are, uh, are sat in the position that that they are? But I would imagine, from a lot of people's um, ambitions and predictions at the start of the season, they wouldn't have expected them to be in this position. But whether it's injuries, whether it's not really got going, certain other bits and pieces that can happen, uh, that does happen at football club, football clubs. But what it has, it has the raw ingredients because that group of players uh, is certainly uh, a group of players that can win football matches uh, in this division. My job now is to is to is to motivate them, is to put them into a structure um, that gives them the help and the opportunity of winning football matches consistently. All the teams are at the top of the division for a reason, because they win games of football. They might not win every game, apart from Burnley, <laughs> who, have, uh, who have had an incredible season and, um, and somebody I've got a huge admiration for in Vincent in terms of the job he's done. Um, obviously, Sheffield United, my old club, are, are, are up there and there's a lot of other clubs that, that, have, uh, that have been incredibly consistent. One thing that we haven't shown so far is that consistency and that's something that we need to do in the last 11 games of the season if we want to be in the shake-up to get out of the division. And obviously this has come around quite quickly. When did you first become aware of what was interested in potentially talking to you and potentially looking to... to yeah, you? I don't know. It's been that much of a whirlwind. I think I've lost days, really. I don't know what day we're up with. Friday, aren't we, today? So uh, Thursday, Wednesday. Yeah, it was. I think it was Tuesday, after, Tuesday afternoon. So it was pretty quick. I knew that there was a there was a change in the making. Um, would I be interested? And um, we got a call from um, from my representative that that, that Scott Duxbury, who's an experienced operator, uh, chairman, the chairman had, had made contact and would would have liked the opportunity of of coaching, managing the football club to the end of the season on a short term deal. And it was it was a it was it was a quick decision for me. It didn't really need. Need a, 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 a me to sit down and and, and discuss and, and, and analyse. You know, I, I, I've kept uh, looking at uh, sort of what's happening at the, at the start of the season. I think we all all get dragged towards the Premier League because how brilliant the Premier League is, and I've had a taste of that. Um, but I always believe that maybe my next appointment would be in the Championship. Um, so I've kept a close eye of what's been happening in the Championship right the way through the season. So I knew what was, you know, what qualities that this football club had, uh, I was got. And um, and so, you know, the, the decision was a pretty quick one for me to come in and, and try and whatever, however you want to put it, whatever word you want to use, galvanise, motivate, structure, got my help, stamp on the, on the group to, to, to try and get some results between now and the end of the season. And what can Watford fans expect from a, a Chris Wilder Watford side? I think if you look historically at the teams that I've, that I've managed, they're committed. They have to be together as a group, all in. Um, I like to play football. I like my teams to play on the front foot. And um, listen, there's all different ways to win games of football. Um, you, you look at the group that you've got here, and uh, they should be dominating games. They should be dominating possession. Um, they, they should be creating chances. They should be scoring goals with the, with the firepower that they, they, they definitely got. But you know, it is, a, it is for me. Uh, you know, two parts of the game is is is, is the, uh, the the in possession bit, which you would expect, and I would expect them to be very very good at. But there's got to be something at the end of it, um, and out of possession, everybody's got a job to do because you know it, we, you know it's it's uh, it's not going to be kamikaze. It's going to be structured. It's going to be controlled. But ultimately, it's about it's about winning games of football. That's what everybody wants to see. I want to see that the players should be 
in the game to win uh, and the supporters of, 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 of Watford want to see their team win and, um, and hopefully that combination uh, I know it's not going to be easy and it's not going to be uh, it's not an easy start as well at, at, at QPR on Saturday but the team's more than capable of winning games of football in this division and, um, and hopefully we can do that I can hear the enthusiasm in your, in your voice speaking about this challenge and looking over the course of your career you're not someone who's had an awful lot of time out of work you've generally been a, in, a, in a role for a longer period of time how difficult has that been for you taking time out of the game from, from your, your time at Middlesbrough and, and waiting for this opportunity yeah, it was, a f it was first termination um, uh, in, in my football career over 20 years. So it was difficult to take and disappointing. You know, you, 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 it hurts. You, you, you're in to be to be successful. I've, I've, through my throughout my career, I've had promotions. I've, had, you know, relative success, good success as well. You guys know. I don't really need to to, to speak about to speak about that. The path has been a, a difficult one. It's not been an easy one personally as well, but. Um, I think that, you know the teams hopefully will show the qualities that myself and my staff have have had to show in terms of that to, to get to this to this situation. As I said, I you know I don't think um, my career should be defined from ten games of the season at, at, at Middlesbrough. You know, um, don't want to go too much into that, but sort of you know you, you make your own mind up in terms of what happened last year and the cup run and getting just outside the playoffs and. You know, a busy summer, 14 players out and 10 players in, and, and these things can happen. Um, and I understand that, respect it, and we have to own that. So it was difficult because those periods in my career personally have not really come along too often. So you learn, you reflect, and you want to go again. And it's a huge enthusiasm from myself and my staff to, to help the players. Um, and as, as, as far as a determination and a hunger and a desire to succeed, that's, that fire is as bright as it's ever been and um, delighted to be given and grateful to be given this opportunity um, by, um, by the football club and, uh, and the chairman. And lastly for me, how capable do you think this squad are of potentially achieving promotion this season? Listen, we'll just take it game by game. I know it's a, an old boring, boring statement, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see and we'll keep ticking the games off. It's a big game for us on Saturday now. Every game takes on more importance, but you know there's there's all to play for. It's not a free hit for me. It's not a free hit for the players. You know the players and the football club have to own the situation that they're in at the moment. But there's still a quarter of the season to go. So uh, let's give it a right go. Take the handbrake off. I'm sure that you know if we can get this rolling in the right direction, which I've managed to do uh, the majority of my football clubs in my time there, then the support will be right behind. Um, you know, there's some non-negotiables. You know, from the work ethic, for, from a com competing aspect of it. You know, this this football club was built on that through Graham Taylor, through the hard work and togetherness and organisation and structure. But as well, quality that they had, and you know, you'll know better than me in terms of the quality that they had, even in the good old days. So why can't we? Um, and I'm sure if we can uh, get it going, the supporters will be right behind these players, and the players will will understand how much the football club means to the supporters.